What is up my people? Welcome back to the channel for another album review. I'm your boy Nassim the Dream. If you're new to the channel, just go right on ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell as well to always keep notified on my newest content. And today I'll be revealing this new Sophie Birch album, Hollow Tropica. Sophie Birch is a Danish synthesis and composer, primarily known for developing much ambient work to her name, beginning ever since 2019 with the record Plantis. So lately I've been trying to work around to look for a really good experimental record to add to the channel, and here we are now with my latest discovery with this LP, Hollow Tropica. Might I add that this new record is actually the fifth installment to Sophie Burge's discography and to get the gist of what her ambient work is really all about there's just a lot of nature to her music and it's just really incredible and it feels a lot of meditative vibes on here and just really good for the soul to the point where her music can actually become a real healing remedy to the mind and that's what I really felt from this record to already begin we start with the track Observatory with Sophie on here teaming up with contemporary composer Nani P while we're entering this track it's tamely dipped into the ambient atmosphere as I was slowly enter this track while introducing us with some instrumental influences of bass music and some jazz on these saxophones and some psychedelic sound effects lurking into the background. Following with the song Surface Plan, the mix starts to begin with luring my curiosity to see where this album will go. Some of the best things about music like this is that it's not focused on its poetry or like its narrative or concept but really any notion that the lyrics would provide you it's all about the visionary aspect to the sonic quality of these songs on here for example i already envisioned myself in like this tropical rainforest where it's cool it's quiet it's peaceful it's adventurous it just feels like the journey is already beginning right here just with a wonder of excitement and there's practically a moment on every song on this record where it introduces some kind of elemental earth aspect to its sound the way these flute passages for example and along with our arpeggios on this track really make me feel it's almost hypnotic but getting further and further you do start to witness some more eyebrow raising moments onto the record the mind warping hypnogogia upholding some very very eyebrow raising moments in the transitioning how it gets into some like half step electronica stretches itself out into like this portal that leads into like a hypnotizing harp sequence which to mention that this sequence of the song is delivered by dolphin midwives i would say my impressions only really get better from here when on the song humidity you see the return of 90p on this encore that results in a much more exciting track because with the first track i wouldn't say that i was immediately pulled into the record i really had to wait for the second track in there but i would still say that i was comfortable in my seat but now we're on here with this constant rising loop growing with violin plucks increasing with the volume and an explosive crescendo of an ending and i want to make it very clear I am being absolutely overstimulated with a lot of excitement on this track. There's even a bunch of switch ups of like the moods with the atmospheres on here. Like there's incoming some haunting sound selection chosen for a lot of the moments on this record as well. I mostly feel some ghostly vibes on the track Tide Rose that really just almost instrumentally sounds like a loading screen for a 70s video game, which I really do like on here, but I think it would have felt like more of a curveball if it wasn't already lightly introduced early on into the record. Because even though you recognize easily that you recognize some of the same sounds that you heard from the previous tracks i still say that each of these tracks paint a very distinctive picture of various amount of elemental settings throughout though i will say i wasn't really too much of a big fan of the closer as it really didn't feel as concluding and epic as i hoped because i think it's still a decent mix and all but i just felt like this track could have been better arranged elsewhere due to my craving of wanting something shocking like hypnagogia but to wrap it up there are moments on this project that are cleverly difficult to predict there are also things that i think that really show that Sophie can get very creative while staying musically tasteful on the record. With the sound of water, wind, fire, and earth, all these traits that I can think of fulfilling so much color and texture for this record, as it really does feel like it puts you through this psychedelic trip of a journey of what nature has to offer in full. But yeah, just overall really digging this LP, the production is fantastic, the songwriting is great, and there's just a lot of great highlights that I really enjoyed onto this LP. I'm gonna give Sophie Birch's Hollow Tropica and 81%. As always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go on and like, share, comment down below, and if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Down in the description, you'll see all my separate checklist ratings for the album, more videos, and also the links to my social media accounts so you can keep with me on the daily. Make sure to follow those accounts as I will be at Bonnaroo this week. Be ready for Bonnaroo, guys. If you're going, I hope you have a great time. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you in the next one. Dose.